All right, next step in the design work on our tiny house is to add in interior walls right here. And uh, this is an interior wall also on this house. And uh, besides interior walls, we're also going to label the rooms. And we're going to put a square foot measurement on these. I'm going to slide this off to the side. Whoops. Show you how I do that. Okay, so in my plan, there's a wall, four inch wide wall. Interior walls are four inches thick. Exterior ones are uh, six, ex six. Actually, I think it's four and three quarters of an inch. That's what we'll make it anyways. All right, so I'm gonna go to the hammer icon and select the raw, draw wall. For thickness, I'm gonna give it four space three quarters of an inch. And I'm going to come here, and I'm. this is where my wall is going to go, is straight across here. So I'm going to come to this. You can see the blue reference lines appear, maybe. Oops. Undo that. See, there's an undo command here, right? So draw wall, four and three quarters, I kept that. And the little round dot appears right where the wall is going to come from. I'm going to go straight up, right to... I. Till I get to the dashed line that's in my six inch wall and click. And then I'm going to close this up and I want to zoom in here and I want to show you something. This is my six inch wall and here is my four inch wall. And uh, you can see there's a little step right there. We want to get rid of that little step. And the way you do that is you click on this uh, new wall that I just drew right here. And then it has move wall across axis. So you can move this wall back and forth, right? Like this, you make it worse or better. I'm going to try to make it better, of course. And this is purely a by sight thing. I mean, that's not too bad right there. Um, let's try and just tweak it just a little bit. Oh, yeah, silly me. All right, so we'll go a little bit less. Now it's a little bit too much. Let's try that again. I'll change it to 37% over here. And see what that looks like. Oh, that looks pretty good. Okay, awesome. So that's my first wall that I needed to draw in. Now I have to draw in the walls for the bathroom. Because your bathroom has to be completely enclosed, right? So I'm going to go back to my draw wall, and it's still on four and three quarters. I'm going to come right up here, and I'm going to left click and pull down. And this bathroom is uh, six feet by six. So I'm going to come to someplace around six feet. Uh, again, you know, if I'm close, that's good. So right there is awesome. And I'm going to come straight across to here, and I'm going to hit escape. And um, this, hopefully, is going to be my bathroom uh, walls. Now, my bathroom size. Now, what happened is right up here, uh, a dimension appeared for the distance from this wall to this wall. And I can change this. I'm going to change, as a matter of fact, I'm going to change this to six feet. So I'll put in six feet, and I want this to grow in. The direction to the right and uh so that's going to be six feet now and i can if i do this right i can actually make a dimension here and uh this dimension goes from the outside here to this wall right here of about six feet which is good good enough so i'm going to close that out and I'll undo that just to get rid of that label. Now, what I got to do is I'm going to divide this area off over here. I'm going to turn this area into a closet slash work area, I guess is the best way to put it. Um, so I need to separate this room, this space off, but there's no wall here. So what I'll do is I'm going to go to my construction thing. I'm going to hit draw wall, but instead of giving it an inch, uh, 
distance, our thickness of four and three quarters, I'm going to give it a thickness of zero. Okay. And now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to start my wall and you'll see a thin line up here. And I'm just going to click and it should create the wall. If you notice, I'm going to drag my cursor up and just touch that area and it'll appear. Uh, there's no visual clue that that's there other than you're going to see that it's an open space and you'll know that there's probably something there uh, because it'll have two different names. The open space will have two different names in it. So that is a good thing right there. Now let's zoom in here and I had this happen again where I have my uh, extra wall here or this little problem. So I'm going to click on that wall. And I'm going to move this across the axis wrong way. Let's go back this way. And I know this changes our, our settings, you know, our wall settings, but uh, our size, but that's all right. It's not a big deal. Okay, so that looks pretty good. And that's going to change the size of my room uh, by what? Two and a half, two, two and three quarters. Yeah, I don't know what it is but uh anyways i wonder if i can change that now huh i'm just going to try this uh no i won't adjust so that's all right so we've got uh, our little room down here and we got this guy up here as a matter of fact you know what i just noticed something see how this little ball is is for this uh invisible wall is right on the edge that shouldn't be like that. And I think it's going to give us a give us a uh, little bit of trouble. So that's all right. I, I'll show you how to fix it. Probably a couple different ways to fix it. All right. So now I've got all my interior walls drawn in. Uh, on my design, that's all of them. You might have uh, more or less wa interior walls, whatever. Now I'm going to start naming areas in the house. So what I'll do here is I'm going to just click on this area. And uh, it's actually going to work for us. Okay, that's good. Uh, and then our bathroom here. Let's see if our bathroom is going to work. Come on. There we go. Yep, it's going to work. Good. If I'm down here, this is going to work. All right. So I actually want this to goof up a little bit. So I'm just going to see if I can get this to make a mess out of itself here. Hold on. No, no, I didn't. Um, there's a problem where if you uh, click on this area and the whole thing lights up, the trouble is, is that this wall isn't connected correctly. So I'm just going to click on this and I'll pull this over so that it gets to, well, I guess it's not goofed up. So maybe I shouldn't mess with it too hard. If you have trouble with uh, separating these rooms, let me know and I'll, I'll show you how to uh, fix the fix the thing. All right. So now I got to add labels. Okay. And as all I do is I double click inside of here, inside of this area, this is the bathroom. So it says room type right here. I'm going to click on this and then I'm going to scroll down until I find the type of room that this is. And this is a bathroom and I'm going to click on this and drag it into this area over here if it didn't already appear but it did and then I'm going to X that out and then I'm going to go to settings and I'm going to turn on this little uh, switch here and it's going to show me the square footage of this bathroom and for some reason it did this double clutch I don't know what happens there but we'll try and fix it Back to information. I'll undo it until bathroom disappears. All right, so we'll try it again. Room name. I'm going to click and drag bathroom in. Maybe that was what caused me a problem that was already there for some reason. Red X or exit out. Then settings again. Click on room size. And this time, huh? Well, let me pause this and see if I can figure it out. 
Okay, so you should be able to see that I've got my bathroom label on here by itself now. Uh, I'm going to click on the, the room. Maybe you have to do this in two steps. I'm not sure. I'm going to click on this now. So you put the label in, and uh, this time it came out okay. So that was a little, a little weird, but anyways. All right, so I got my bathroom in, right? Now I'm going to go over and name this area. So I'm going to click in it, and I'll go to this area. A uh, little naming thing here and I'm just gonna call this closet I'm gonna click and drag all right and I'll exit that and I'll exit all together now then I'll go back and click on it and this time I'll go to settings I'll hit show room size and then I can exit out of that and exit again and that seemed to work so this area down here is the bedroom so I'll click on it, room type, bedroom, exit, exit, click on it again, uh, oops, wrong thing, settings, here we go, show room size, okay, and then over here in this area for me, uh, this is a big open area, but it's really divided into two separate areas or whatever um one is the living area and the other is the kitchen slash dining room so i'm going to go to uh the hammer icon i'm going to draw a room i'm going to put in my zero thickness again i'm going to click and pull up to the other wall and uh oops come on show me Ah, there we go. Okay, so now I know that that wall is there. Um, I'm not sure exactly where it is in space. It's about halfway across the room. That's what I want. Um, so I'm good with that, I guess. And what I'll do now is I'll create my label for this area here. And this is a room type. Uh, let's see, this is a living room. Here we go. Click and drag it in, and then I'll exit it and exit it. Oh, landing. Well, that's not right. I guess I have to read more than the L, right? Dining, kitchen, kids' room, nursery, bedroom. Oh, living. First one. Oops. Guess I'm going to have to actually. Oh, it changed it. Good. Click on that settings set my room size good to go now this room over here this is going to be my hit the info thing and then set room type this is my kitchen so i'll drag this in here and i want to also call this slash dining so we'll change that click on it <clears throat> settings and up here I can change this from kitchen to kitchen slash dining show my room size X and X so you have to create your walls your interior walls remember they're four and three quarters of an inch thick and then you have to set up the uh, room labels with square footage.